In today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can pay for a university education even if you don't have any money. You might be in a situation where your family just doesn't have the finances or you don't have the money. For all I know, you're homeless, you're sleeping on someone's couch, and you just don't see any way that you could possibly ever afford the money that it costs to go to college. Well, don't worry because there are a lot of options available to you, and it all starts with something called financial aid. So in the United States, we're very fortunate to have something called a FAFSA form that you file with the federal government. And then the federal government is going to share the information that you put in your FAFSA form, this financial aid application, with the universities to which you apply. And ultimately, what's going to happen after you file this FAFSA, the government is going to determine your need. So, if you don't have any money, no money, that implies that you have high need. And what the government's going to do is come up with something called an EFC, your estimated family contribution, basically an idea of how much your family or you personally, depending on the circumstances you're in, how much you should be expected to contribute toward your own education. Do they expect that you have a lot of money? Perhaps your family's very wealthy? Then you're going to have low need. But if you are poor or your family is poor, then you've got a situation where you've got high need. Now I say you or your family because there's certain situations where they might actually look at your income rather than your parents' income. For example, if you're a ward of the state or if you're above a certain age or there's certain things that you, that you see on the FAFSA form, there's a number of questions that determine whether you're independent or not. Basically whether or not the government determines this EFC based on your income or your parents' income. But that's the subject of another video. For right now, let's just focus on the fact that they're going to evaluate your parents' income or your income determine your need and come up with this EFC. So ultimately once the government shares this information from the FAFSA with the universities that you applied to, they're going to come up with something that's called a financial aid award package. So when you get your award package, it's going to have a number of things in it. For example, let's move down a bit, your award package may have grants. Now what are grants? Grants are basically free money that you do not have to pay back. Do not. This is not a loan. It's not a scholarship. It's not a loan. It's just money that basically the government or even the university or your state government perhaps any of those sources might determine that Based on your financial situation, they would like to grant or give you some money to help you fund your education. So you can have grants in your award package. You could also have something called work study. Now work study is basically a guaranteed job. So for example, you might get the financial aid award package and say that you've been given $2,500 in, in work study. So that means that that university, if you choose to go there, will end up giving you a job in the library or something like that so that you can make that $2,500. So you can count on that. Then there's also student loans. Now student loans are different from grants in that they do have to be paid back. But the good news is that they don't have to be paid back until after you graduate college. So you don't have to be worrying about going to classes and somehow trying to, to to pay these these loans off. They're paid back after you graduate. So then another source of, of income in this award package or money toward your tuition is scholarship. Now I talk about scholarship last here because I don't want you to get the impression that if you didn't do very well athletically or in sports or, or you didn't do didn't have the best grades that you can't go to college because that's absolutely not right here, here you can get a lot of fun you can get all your funding you need right from those sources right there but there is scholarships as well and there's academic for the grades and, and other achievements that you might have and then there's also athletic scholarships if you're a terrific basketball player or something like that so all these things here will comprise 
your financial aid award package. So let's take a look here for a moment at a sample award package. Change to yellow. So for example, let's say your university costs ten thousand dollars for the year. So you might get an award package that looks something like this. It says tuition ten thousand dollars and then grants you might have some grants from the from the federal government the state government the university itself out of their endowment and they did all these things they add up let's say to six thousand dollars and then your work study you're gonna end up getting a job uh, working in the library and you get uh, $2,500 in guaranteed income from that and then let's say they give you student loans of $3,000 which is going to have to be paid back when you graduate. So right here when we look at this let's just separate this out for a moment here we're not going to add that in that's what we're trying to pay. When we look at these three things this actually adds up to $11,000 $500. Now you might be thinking, hey, that's actually more than what I owe in tuition. Well, the government and the university recognize that you're also going to have to pay for things like your textbooks. So in some cases, you actually get more in aid than what the actual tuition is. And notice that there are no scholarships here. Okay, now everyone's financial aid award package is going to be different and, it, and a large, to a large extent is determined by your family or your income. But this is just a sample to give you an idea that there's a lot of funding that could very easily cover the cost of your tuition. So if you're sitting there right now and you don't have any money or you don't have any income and you're thinking that a university education or it's just out of the question, it's just something that you could never afford because you didn't come from a wealthy background, then you owe it to yourself to fill out this FAFSA form and just see what aid you're eligible for. Just get your award package. You're not obligated to do anything. And the best part about this FAFSA form is that it is absolutely free. It costs you nothing to apply for financial aid. Now you might say, well, what about, you know, it costs money to apply to the colleges. But the thing is that, you so, okay, the, the, well, the FAFSA form is automatically free. Yes, it does cost money to, to apply to colleges, but you can also get a fee waiver for that. So just inquire at the college in, in question that you're, you're interested in attending. You can get a fee, a fee waiver if you really have uh, financial uh, hardship. And then this FAFSA form is free. So without spending any money at all, you can get an idea, a clear idea, a budget of exactly what it would cost. And it might not cost you a thing. I mean, of course, you have to pay the loans back eventually. But even if you don't have a lot of money or your family doesn't have a lot of money, that does not mean that you cannot go to college. So if you're interested in going to college at all, please fill out the FAFSA apply to some colleges and inquire about fee waivers and at least take a look and see the opportunity just might be there for you.